When you're finished, I'd like to get one more shot at it. Good. Good. Fabulous. 2015. Oh, we're here for the Amelia Island Concourse de Allegas. My goodness, here's Sterling Moss, the guest of honor this year in an HWM. Sterling signing this model of the um, Mercedes. <laughs> Quite a scene here. They're going to lead the drive, the tour, and Sterling in red, of course. And an HWM. He's going to be a windblown guy. He doesn't even have a windscreen. Now here's Bill Warner. With Sterling is uh, Simon Taylor. He's a very well known uh, writer and MC. Here it is, we've been waiting for it. This is the Mille Amelia winning 1955 Mercedes SLR driven by Sterling Moss. Incredible. Right here, before your very eyes. Well, I hope they run it. That'd be nice. It has a special fuel can here. The great exhaust. The plaid interior. Fantastic. I think we're going to see it run, or hear it run. Incredible desmodrobic valves. And there goes the exotic fuel. And we're going to hear this engine momentarily. The exotic fuel going in. One cannot take enough pictures of this car. Interesting cars get any better. And here are all the covers from the 20 years of uh, the Mealy Island. Of course, you have this year's featuring Sterling Moss. And you have 20 years ago Sterling Moss. Well, here's Sterling right after the drive. And here's his wife. And now he's going to face them. Mr. Moss signing the posters and the famous signature. There it is, the famous signature. Next. Thank you. I can totally help you. Now they've got Sterling signing his books and his car. What do you think of this? Is my question as well. This is that Delta race car. Has four wheels. The two are very close in the front. And one like this raced at Le Mans. This is immensely interesting. It qualifies as a sports car because it's got two seats. Developed by All American Racers, which is the uh, Dan Gurney company. I'm at the Alfa Romeo Pavilion showing the new Alfa. Now here's one of the older ones. One of my favorite cars ever built. From every angle, it is absolutely gorgeous. Remarkable. I am in awe. Yes, I am obsessing. Automobile artistry. Now what do you think of this? This is a replica of the Dymaxion. The vehicle that was, uh, I think, uh, 
No, um, Buckminster Fuller was involved in. Wild. It, it's a replica, but boy, it is exciting to look at. It'll be on the show tomorrow. Interesting interior. Yeah, but you could do that. Boy, it draws a crowd. There's a bunch of people just standing to the side of my camera. They're admiring this thing. It is unique. Air intake on the roof. See, this is the man with the, of the museum. He's uh, Bill's replicas. He did a propeller car that was here many years ago. Ford V8, front wheel drive. Dimaxian. Love it. It's bright and early Saturday morning. This is a new feature here at the concourse. Cars and coffee. Just a small portion. It's a big deal. How about this Mazda? Very, very rare car. Some nice ones too. Yeah, and some very nice ones. And how about a Ferrari GTO? Oh, and ultra special. Look at the transparency of this. Fantastic. All opened up. What a picture. I love it. Everything. Back to the GTO for a minute. It's not making it better. Yeah. One of the standouts, easily. <laughs> now here's a recreation Zagato, Aston Martin. You know Zagato, double bubble? This is triple bubble. Yep, we get taken in every time. This is a recreation. I'll tell you, it's a good one. This is what is called a certified recreation. It is a very, very good one. Now to brighten up your morning, how about this McLaren? How about a few Mustang engine alterations or additions? And some slightly hidden engines. How about an Avante convertible? That's rare. I heard, uh oh, another Avante. They've got a few. A lot of Avantes. And from Avantes to Allard's. And in the BMW, BMW group, the i8. Gosh, this must be i1. That's an early BMW. Yes. Yeah, here's the engine. Otherwise you'd whiz by, you know, when you got a car like ours, you should whiz by like And other BMWs. And even the resort BMWs with the doors that fold down, slide down. Interesting paint scheme on this one. And Porsche is here, and here's their new hybrid. I think it's 918. That's not the time, that's the car. And a very old 356 convertible. Jaguars are well represented. It's photo op time. And a very rare Jaguar. Now we saw in the design seminar the early, uh, newer version of this and it does not have the gold doors and I think the doors are terrific. And that's the engine. There's a little gem of 190. And I say gem. Very clean. Go back to that uh, gold wing concept. I think it's fabulous. Not too many Delahays here. This is a rare one. What a great idea, cars and coffee. And they're still coming in. Hey, here's an Avante convertible. I don't remember the hood having this opening like this, but maybe it did. Here's an Alfa Romeo Montreal sitting right next to the new. Now at the official Alfa Romeo stand here, of course, here's some excellent samples of uh, their history. Very, very nice display. This car here has Phil Hill's name on it. I feel for Alpha the same tenderness one feels when remembering his first love, Enzo Ferrari. Okay? Here's a rare one, BMW. And in the BMW, 
booth. Uh, of course, we got a little newer version, but now they're embracing the iSet as well. And their motorcycles. You remember this Porsche? This is something special. It's called a 968 Turbo. And the Porsche. Oh, what does it say? I didn't see that. Carrera GT. On the back, hydrocarbon powered Echo vehicle, okay. Studebaker service here. How's this vehicle? Got everything. Front wing. Brock H tribute fund. Boy, keeps your eye busy. Transverse engine. It's an aerial atom. Quite unique. Now let's check this one out. It's even more elaborate than the other one. Or front wheel drive. Ecotech. No, it's not front wheel drive. It's called a slingshot. Polaris. Check the seats out. Now you know we're going to have to do something different when it comes to being able to make Boy. a launch train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Got Notice that the uh, engine's in the front and then they come back and it's a belt drive in the rear. What's amazing is that's sitting next to this sled sled. Well, the I-8 is partially opened up here. Hi, Brad. Spectacular. The University of North Florida student project. Unreal. And while we're down here, he's peacefully flying up there. Now, the Jaguar stand is this uh, a 120, and it's a test car, one of the early test cars. Set a land speed record for a production car with Sterling Moss. Now, we're in the Mercedes. Uh, tent display and here's a gorgeous gold wing but wait do you see next 1939 154 Grand Prix car 1939 unbelievable V12 supercharged what a thrill. Note where the main fuel tank was. Right over the top of the driver's leg. And all that power came back here. Here is this company that calls itself Delahaye USA and yet ends up making them look like Bugattis. These are recreations. Porsche Spider and a, of course a Jaguar C-Type. Porsche Spider. Beautiful recreation. This is a vending area <laughs> and uh, we're looking at various products that are available and this is called Speed Furniture. All the necessary parts for comfort. <laughs> Shock absorbers on the armrests, wheels and very comfortable executive chairs as well. Now get ready for this. This is the car collection. This Suiza BMW. This Anna Septic engine here. Nineteen thirty-nine BMW. And this is the back side of that um, Here's a motorcycle collection that I guess is coming up for sale, but this is a demonstration of board track and how these bikes were used on those. Okay, well, thank you. Thank Unreal. You have a good one. How about this? Delahaye. Unreal. Delahaye Narval, meaning cover girl. Pagoni and Falashi. and other cars. It's just too spectacular. I mean, it's just hard to keep track. Rolls Royce. Another Rolls Royce. And in the middle of this tent, Ponard Lavoisier. 
another Rolls Royce. This is one car collection, Simplex. Again, I have to say, this is one automobile collection. Even the Indianapolis Motor Museum is advertised here. Well, today is auction day. There's that little Ferrari. And the cars are getting in position to go on the, in the auditorium. As I've said many times, an auction is another concourse. Yeah, they're all gussied up. We're in the auction now. And this is just part of the crowd. They started this car at $3 million. $4 million, Walked up to the front and it's now up to $5 million. They're asking for $5 million. Five million six hundred thousand as it stands. Come out to get it. Five million eight. I'm teasing them. There goes the car. To show you the difference, the next car is started at 60, it's up at 80, and it's a Lincoln. It's a beautiful car. It's up to 100,000 now. And the way it goes. It's Delahaye, Fagoni, and Palashi. We'll see what this one goes. Paris show car. Starting at 400,000. 835,000. 875. Really beautiful car. All right. Lamborghini Mira. Boy, the Mira is gorgeous. It started at $1 million. At just $2 million. Two million fifty thousand. The last chance. Yes. Two million seventy five. Two million seventy five. Two million one hundred thousand. And they're just letting it go around the turn one more time before they roll it off. Two million one hundred thousand dollars. There it is. Now you've seen it. Gorgeous car. Now I think we'll just go out for a little tour this afternoon. We're getting cars of Sterling Moss. They're going to be all lined up. 450 Maserati. Van Wall Grand Prix car. Le Mans Ferrari. Oscar. That was the Lotus. 250 GTO and another Lotus and a Jaguar test car and continuing the Sterling Moss thing this is uh, the precursor of the GTO Ferrari and a Porsche Spider we get into the Maseratis here that's a 450 in the back and a 250 Grand Prix car which Sterling Moss did very well in let's dazzle you Picking up on the other end of that line, the Aston Martin, the Streamliner Mercedes, the C-Type Jaguar. This is the car that Sterling won in, but Juan Fangio won the championship that year. Now the Streamliner was the 196, and it wasn't used in all the races. This is the car that won the majority of the races that year. Here, 1955, the staggering, staggering display of cars. How grand is this? And try to hold a steady hand because this is out of this world. The whole display. <laughs> Magnificent display. Staggering group of cars.
started back to doing his photography work. Now they're positioning for this photograph. Now they're going to position the 196. Yeah, okay. right out here. Now from the Mercedes, we're going back to the Maserati. How's this for jewelry? Phil Hill's son driving this car. Is this too good? Gosh. Now they're going to line up his formula cars, early part of his career. And GTO remains that, let's say, interesting green. Here's a pretty good shot. Not quite finished, but close enough. And there's Bill, the photographer. Another panorama. When the sun comes out, you take one shot, it may disappear again. Now here comes Sterling, and of course he's got to be placed somewhere. It must be unbelievable. Hey! Hey! Sterling Moss and his Millimillion winning Mercedes Benz. Pretty incredible. In fact, it's very incredible. Hey, when you're finished, I'd like to get one more shot, shot at it. Good. Good. Fabulous. Sterling and his wife, Susie. All right. As soon as they're out of the car. Now, these were late comers for the Sterling Moss display, so we have to take another shot of them here. A Lister and a Maserati, which just sold an auction yesterday, and a D-Type. Now this is a car we didn't get at Gooding because they wouldn't let me take pictures. So we're getting a little shot of it now. Now the fun begins as they start setting up the cars for Sunday. And it looks like we're going to have some uh, nice Ferrari Formula Ones on display. And there's always a Porsche presence here at uh, the concourse. It's going to be all over the place, but because they're just randomly coming in. But how about a Corvette? 56 coupe. Oh, a little Alfa Romeo. Looking very similar to this Porsche Abarth. This is a wonderful time on Saturday when these cars are just randomly coming out. Beautiful. And remember, Stutz is also one of the featured marks this year. Kind of left the best for last. Look at this. This is incredible. And this is God, the Stutz is incredible. Oh, and they have Roadster this year. That looks like a West Coast one. Now, this is a Stutz race car. Stutz. Fabulous race car. Auburn boat tail. Gorgeous. Here's a display that will be mobbed tomorrow. Three Ferrari Formula One cars, Grand Prix cars, because a car in the foreground, that was what it was called. Back to the Corvette just for a moment to capture its rear styling. Very interesting. Quite unusual to see this car. A Morgan and a Zagato Alfa Romeo. Car's getting pulled, but boy, is it a gorgeous Albert. Miller. Miller, another one of those roadsters. Here's a Ferrari Dino. this Porsche, but look at the exhaust. Hobart. And the loud Corvette racing are here. 
Right now on this end of the motorcycle display, it's mainly a little newer bikes. But we'll catch this orange one here. BMW. Can't help but look at these new bikes though and admire their styling and performance. Ducati. Look at this Roadster. How long can you go? But look at this Roadster. It is something else. East Coast Custom in Florida. Oh, Something else. Remember this from yesterday, the uh, supercharged East Coast 35 Ford. Back to motorcycle, this is the famous Vincent. The hot rod theme is sort of East versus West, and I'm thinking this is kind of an East Coast. Kind of a rat rod? I, yeah, but it's, God, it's beautifully done. Hot rod. It just the, the headlights fold out in the front like Alfa Romeo. It's got all kinds of nuances. All right, here's the uh, B BMW uh, Millimilli car. Rally cars coming in. I've been working hard to get this shot, and finally, finally. Eight-cylinder uh, Alfa Romeo. Yeah, take a take shot it. of this. Sure. Eight-cylinder Alfa takes Romeo. A lot of stuff. Gorgeous. It takes a lot of Here's how you protect a valuable Ferrari and bring them to, the, to a show. Lots of cover. You know, with all these fancy red cars still here, these old ones, pretty nice. And they make the hill too. Ferrari, one and a half liter Formula One. Look at that. One and a half liter. Unreal. This is a work of art. Absolute work of art. Incredible. Now look at where they're going to park it. You won't believe this. Is this history or what? Ferrari history. God. My goodness, look at this coming in. That is unreal. Stutz, I think. I think, again, this is a Stutz. Because they're putting it in the Stutz line here. It's a land speed record car with a Stutz background, pre-1929. This is a recreation. What a story. A guy named Frank Lockhart. 1928, Daytona Beach, and he was killed. And here's that one and a half liter Ferrari. It's it's a uh, eight cylinder. Uh, they had a six, a 12, and an eight, all at the same time, Ferrari did. According to the gentleman here, this is the only one left that was the eight cylinder. You have to look at this and realize it's a race car, and it has to be strong, light, agile. It's all that, and, and, which makes it a work of art. Other red cars here, a little Seattle. There was one in the auction today as well. Hello, Valentino, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Supervising the engine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have an exhibit of rally cars, which we will see shortly. Okay. And on the hill here are the rest of them. Lancia. Again, I said, these are the Lancia rally cars. We're gonna see other kinds elsewhere in this show. Now let's check some of these wild road bikes that are here. Matchless, Harley Davidson, NGK, BSA, Yamaha, and Yamaha. Just listed as motorcycles, the um, category, BSA. Now here is the scene. Sunday morning. Cars waiting to go into the concourse. Now watch this. You 
bet. Right by a generator, but you can still hear the 12 cylinder. That's the start of the event. Now, here's material to come. Now, here's how it works. Go ahead. Look at the variety of equipment. Here are the two RM cars that are going to be up for auction uh, this summer. Steady stream of fantastic cars. And look at the contrast. Duesenberg. Alpha Mail. Delage. And we got it. Does this not remind you of an opening of a Grand Prix maybe? back then. Incredible. A little dew still on the windshield. Amazing Porsche. I'm estimating this to be an East Coast rod somehow. And the Ferraris are coming in and that's that Series 2 convertible that has the drop door on the side. Very unique. The other side, no. They're featuring uh, early American sports cars. And there happens to be one. That's one of the features I'm saying. And some early race cars. And they're featuring the 914 Porsche. And the classic Bugatti. Another feature this year, uh, Cars of the Cowboys. Oh my God, look at this. Unbelievable. Look at the guns on the side, the whole work. This is a Packard concept car. It's called the Predictor. The works. Huge. In the Stutz category, there's this one. This is sports cars, American sports cars, with hat. Another feature this year are the Chrysler Town and Countries. Or in that case, a barrelback, Woody. All right, here comes this Sensual. We saw it the first day we were here. I don't think it's got a Ferrari engine in it. Another one of those Chryslers, Town and Countries. Riley. And this is a Sprite. Yes. Rolls Royce. This Rolls Royce Silver Ghost is incredible. And very quiet. Followed by another Rolls Royce. Also equally quiet and elegant. You guess you ask the people who own one. Stutz. Hey, you got it. You got it crank started. This has got the serpents now. We're gonna it'll make it up the hill here. Woo! Look at that. In a cloud of smoke. Lamborghini. 350. Gorgeous car. And a Ruxton, front wheel drive. Now they're featuring Speedsters this year, that's a Cord. Hotel. Alfa Romeo. Eight cylinder. Followed by another Rolls Royce. Elvis. He had V8. Legato. Legato. And this is that cord that has the uh, 
Speedster back. Now here's an Auburn Speedster Cadillac. The Cadillac was a V16. That was a Mormon and this is an Auburn. In many respects, the rears of these cars are more interesting than the front. Called Speedster. No Bull is another one of those cars of the cowboy. I think this was Leo Carrillo, I think. About ready to get hit by a bull. Not only that, but it's a Chrysler town and country. I wonder what category they'll put it in. Yeah, Leo Carrillo. You know, with a lasso. Oh, Stangvelini. Yeah, Stangvelini. Another Stutz. There are going to be a lot of them this year. I gotta tell you, this concourse business is serious business. Getting ready for the show. All right, here are the cars of the Cowboys. You gotta figure this cowboy had wings, huh? Or fins. It was a dealer, Buck Jones Cadillac. The Florida, it's a Duesenberg. This is a Gene Autry Packard. Well, we'll break the action here for a minute and pick up on this Alfa Romeo. Rogers. Pontiac. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the interior. Silver dollars there in the car. Some kind of skin. Saddle over the uh, council. Yeah, this is a California rod. Look how cool it looks. Now, this is a Stutz. Probably a Bearcat, as they call them. Now, this is a Duesenberg. This could be a best of show entrant. Could be. All these Rolls Royces just keep pouring in. Enormous thing. Now here's another silver ghost, I believe. Loaded with folks. Let's go back to Roy Rogers. Yeah. I mean, how would you like to sit at a signal and look at that? At least the gun's facing the right direction. I know they're close up with the Leo Carrillo car. Move. I, maybe they don't move. I guess not. Mercedes. Stangrelini. Judge on the motorcycle now. Here's uh, Danny Sullivan. He's one of the judges. And another one of the town and countries. Now here's that Dymaxion, uh, which is the Buckminster Fuller. It's a reproduction, but still, it's um, nice. Now here's contrast from a Packard to the Dymaxion. Now note the sunroof. Notice the top pulled back. Dymaxion, fantastic car. Duesenberg. Aston Martin. Appropriate brakes. Now, remember the Crosley? I wonder if this goes in the Cowboys. It's a little ice cream wagon. Yeah, I like the decoration of it. Yeah. Now the big Detroit iron. Chrysler 300. And Pontiac. Bonneville. Mercedes limousine. That is very long. Finishing off the cows, or cows, cars of the cowboys. Oh my God. This is uh, Tom Mix, and he was killed in this very car. This is a Stutz, again. Incredible, as original condition. Look at the costumes and everything. All right, here's some of the hot rods, and these are pretty much the eastern they sort of have a contrasting event here that is um, east versus the west in terms of their interpretation of the hot rod. This sort of appears to be the west or the uh, west coast look or the western look. This is the Phil Remington special here. And the judges are going over one. I 
than the rest of the crowd. Now here are the Chrysler Town and Country variants. We're now in sort of prototypes and stuff. That's a Pontiac next year, and this is a Ford product. Look at the similar fronts. It's called the X400. The styling department started the whole thing. Pontiac, built in 1964, General Motors, supercharged. This is the 56 Packard out of the Studebaker Museum. Called the Predictor. Note the sunroof here, it's like a roll top desk. It rolls into the center. Predictor. Well, we got the Diamaxine again. Now we'll take another close up look. Being a replica, they build a model of it first. Now, here's a model of that undercarriage, and there's the steering in the back. So, after driving this, steering wheel turns. There's the engine in the back. Oh, and the suspension? Unbelievable. It's crazy. Even the engine turns. And that's the front wheel drive, see? Showing how the drive goes. Apologize for the shadows, but the low sun in the morning. Here is the um, Mille Miglia winning 1940 BMW. Then the BMW exhibit. Here is one that was featured, or noted to be honored this year. I can't pronounce it, Bugle Flotte. It had something to do with creases in the pants, and the fenders offer that crease design. Mille Miglia entrant. Quite a rare car. These are called orphan concept cars. Chrysler product. Hudson Italia. Packard Panther. 54 Mercury. XM. Yeah, things to come. And again, the predictor. There's that sunroof partially folded back. Caddy Grand Prix car. Fantastic. These are Duesenbergs. This category is forgotten fiberglass. Sports cars are the early American era of sports cars. The biggies of Detroit. Bentleys. This is an American Ford, commissioned by Edsel Ford. And here's another Ferrari entrant. 12 cylinder. 1952. Oh, you got a bit Indianapolis more Ferrari. Too, yeah. You know, I'd say they machined those intake manifolds down to the point where they had to wedge in the butterfly aluminum. You know, the guys that used that ram Traco, Travis and Coons, worked for MG up there, eight cylinder Alfa Romeo, and here's another Alfa Romeo. And this is in that pre war sports car category. And in that same category is this Alvis. A lot of polishing going on, but this is the Ferrari area this year. Filled with a lot of. Important machines. Horse cars, 1960 to 1990. Well, the Stutz lineup is impressive. This little Sportster is particularly attractive. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. The little ones come in different colors. The Stutz category is packed. Like I said, if you're into Stutz this year, you got them here. This one being judged is magnificent. Gorgeous. Only supercharged Stutz. Indianapolis Ferrari, actually. Here's Brian Redmond doing some judging. Sitting not right next to it is this Alain Prost. Uh, Ferrari. Going up the line. And the rest. Cars. She's Italian there. Nash Healy. Stangolini. 
in the same category way back there you got a Bertone Fiat Bertone that's a, um, a Fiat 8V V8 and so is this by Zagato this car is original since it left the factory in 1954 this is the Porsche Le Mans prototype yep Le Mans Porsche not Mexican road race and sitting next to a monster Ferrari of about the same time and here's an early morning scene out in the country setting up breakfast Indy Sprint car Hoffenhauser Allard Miller and this is an Indy car Roadster now in that same category as his Alfa Romeo but here's an Avali little Ceterini Fiat body by Moto Torino basic essentials Ceterini <laughs> so small it gets lost on the grass here well this one doesn't get lost on the grass six cylinder Alfa six cylinder now this category I've been showing you all along interrupted by one of the uh, Stutz things there is uh, sports cars Porsche cars 65 to 74 Chevy it's 1959 bow car all right take a good look at this this is a flathead originally it's got cam covers on top I mean that is basic you can see that like a cast iron block all revised four cylinder built by one guy Okay, here's Bill Warner is opening the uh, car for Sterling Moss who just arrived. And he's going to drive it traditionally down the fairways because that's what every year this event features as the opening ceremony. The steering wheel. I got pictures of you in the Lotus at Riverside and the Aston Martin when you raced with Ginther. That was a great race. Well, we're about ready to get started. Susie's giving him a little encouragement. Bill Warner's going to uh, go with Sterling. Yeah, Jay Leno can fit in. He can. <laughs> Looking like the Mill Amelia here with the crowds. Bill, stay. As long as we're up here, we might as well show the trophy table. That's half. And that's the other half. Now here's an interesting car, it's a Mustang. Mustang never got built like this. A little shorter. And the car is the Sterling Moss. Duesenberg's over there. Prototypes. Hot rods. This show is huge. Uh, back into looking at some cars here. Mercedes. Uh, Thomas Flyer. Absolutely glorious. Oldsmobile. Pierce. Daimler. The interesting headlights. Packard. What were they called? Horseless carriage. It's called a Toledo. California to Illinois. Oakland. Rio. The world's largest. Believe it or not, International Harvester. And another Oldsmobile. Mercedes Benz. Incredible. We're getting to those. Mercedes. Minerva. Interesting hood ornament. 
Rolls Royce. Note the door swinging from the center post. Delahaye. You got it. 1928 Mercedes Benz. Unbelievable. Incredible Unbelievable car. From all over the world here at a Sporting and Lady Moss and to have them with us today. Delahaye. So Pewville. Oh yeah. American classic. Rolls Royce. There's an abundance of glitter here in the Rolls Royce area. Fashion show now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pick up our fashion show this morning. Locomobile. 1908 Locomobile. It's a pleasure to be here. What a magnificent automobile. Was emerging. Women's silhouettes shifted to a more modern, straighter, lighter line. The first class passengers. Travion's long brocade jacket, jeweled ascot, and wide brim. Who received the Iacocca Award last night at our Saturday evening gala. This car, ladies and gentlemen, was originally an SS race car. This custom arm Brewster body was built on this fabulous chassis. An SS Mercedes, one of the most exotic of European. What a car. And and desirable they have become. From Boyertown, Pennsylvania, 32 Ford Roadster from the Three Dog Garage. America was restless in percent, and California grew by 50. Coral Gables, Florida. I like the helmet. BMW. Hey, you have traffic light? Y'all got 1937 was a year of... And while Mae West was being banned from race Country Sedan, 47. owned by Lauren Hulber from McCungie, Pennsylvania. This was the top of the line. Are all typical of this period. Youthful, energetic designs maintained a delicate balance with tradition. This car has every accessory offered on the book. Country to our concourse today. Including an electric gas cap, whatever that means. With a stunning restaurant, 63 Pontiac Bonneville from our cowboy car cowboy class. Cowboy car class. Roy Rogers, the Roy Rogers special, and he certainly was well armed. Actually known as the tailor to uh, Western wear, I think. But when he opened his uh, tailor shop, he introduced a new level. Look at all the, the goodies on that car. Pontiac, 1963. X400 Pontiac. Specially constructed by General Motors. Range from reproductive rights to workplace bias. After ending her acting career in the 1960s, she devoted the... And this is not any Porsche, it's a 916 America. Only 11 were built. 916 prototype. Courtesy of Significant General Motors, automobiles. Huey White job that experimental concept car developed by none other than Harley Earl in 1938. Over in the Harley head of GM Earl. styling. I understand he put almost 50,000 miles on this car. Job built and still owned by General Motors. This is a significant car. One of them is one of our most significant Stutz. cars, ladies and gentlemen, from Indiana. A 1912 Stutz Bearcat. 1911. It's a big rivalry back then. Corvette Corvair. Reconstructed from some original parts by Michael Terry in Greenwood, Indiana. Look at that fastback. This is a replica of that car was destroyed. Called the Corvair. Corvair. But it's 
Corvette Corvair, 1931 V16 Cadillac with coach and work by Tina and Farina. Now that is rare. Got back there from, uh, India. Also India. It was built for a Maharaja. Tina and Farina car. design on a Cadillac V16 chassis. Very rare. U.S. Postage hot rod stamps. Well, here they are. Two hot rods. These are the two cars that are on. on the postage stamps. First day issue, Amelia Island 20th anniversary envelopes that will be available. There are the stamps. The they were built. Two cars that appeared on the national stamps. Thank you, gentlemen. Children's Awards, Ooh, where they like vote for car. certain cars that are significant, and these are the three they awarded this year. The Pontiac Cowboy car, and this is a Packard. Beautiful Packard, dual cowl Phaeton. And the other is a Lamborghini Mira. Also some great color here. What a scene. Well, the sun is out and it's glorious. What a magnificent scene. Absolutely glorious. Stangrelini. Piata. Magnificent cheese Italia. More glorious color. Original condition. Auto V8. This is also a Fiat V8. Body by Ghia. Fiat by Bertone. This is an Arnold Bristol by Bertone. Lancia by Zagato. Maserati by Zagato. Lancia by Farina. Great Porsche Carrera convertible. 356. And here's a Lancia Rally as well by Farina, only not with the wraparound windshield. Now this is a 1956 Arnold. Arnold. Aston Martin. ASA convertible. I used to call this the Junior Ferrari. ASA engine. A very, very black Cobra. A better than perfect 911. Lamborghini 350. Zagato off Romeo. Vignale Triumph. This is a 57 Thunderbird. Quite different. Other than the fact that it looks brand new. Oh yeah. Well, it's supercharged. It's a kind of stripped down look. Some of these cars and dealerships they were acquired look like racing. Aston Martin. Sort of like the Roy Rogers here is another one, the Hank Williams special. The cowboy cars. Well, this is very similar to the other one, the Roy Rogers one. Yeah, well, this is Silver dollars in the dashboard, but still got the saddle. Horseshoe at the horn ring, various other things. Guns behind the seats. Very horny Pontiac. Now let's take the other side of Ferrari Hill here. Get the uh, Mercedes-Benz Grand Prix cars, Indy car. Bill Warner announcing the judges. He remembers every one of them. The gentleman who puts on one of the finer racing events in the United States at Lime Rock Grand, Sir Sterling Moss and Lady Moss. Ferrari, first award of the day. Spiramentale Speciale, owned by Bruce McCall from Bellevue, Washington. The only racing Ferrari other than a red color and to present the truck. Sterling Moss drove this in Florida. Chin from Inglewood, Colorado. Best in class open Ferrari. 61 the 30 Ford. Stutz Coupe. Okay. And the special feature on this Stutz, in addition to our 32, another Stutz. Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo sedan from the famous Houston. Well, here's Ford. another. And here's an auto another, motor show car. Another Stutz. Convertible Victoria. Owned by Ralph Morano from Westfield, New York, back in 1914. This is what it looked like. J.C. and Judy Osteen in the cockpit. Now there is a really Dallas. great Stutz. No mufflers, by the way, on this great car. Another <gasps> Stutz. Okay. Another award car with a working horn. 1923 Stutz Speedway 4. Oh, we're here. Look at this trophy. Piston Eden, head. North Carolina, Enid, Oklahoma. Packard. 
hotel. The first in class Thank you to John in the hotel. Right. Well, we had a problem with the Auburn. So we got this uh, that's super bear cat, an EV32 super bear cat. The Auburn passes the stand if they can help it. They are. There it is. Bow tail. That's a man tail right now. It's a rare one. Beautiful. Designed Bow tail speedster. Alan Levy. It was formerly owned by, by Tom, Tom Mix. Tom Mix. As a matter of fact, he was killed in this car when he went into a ditch and something in the back seat hit him in the back of the head and he got... Rolls Royce, they're getting into a... 1913 Rolls Royce Silver Ghost, London to Edinburgh. 16 cylinder Cadillac Cadillac designed by Pina Inferno, built Farina for a Maharaja. In well, I wish it was running, but we're going to get a chance again to see the Nicky Lauda Periscopio Ferrari. Ladies and gentlemen, car number 12. Previously... Oh, this God. is a remarkable oh, car. This is uh, Leo Carrillo. From the Keller Collection in Petaluma, California. Carrillo. Vincent. 1996 Britain V1000 from the Marber Vintage Motorsports Museum. 52. Now we're starting with rally cars. Really award winning Porsche. Car. 1989 ladies and gentlemen, with all those onboard computers. All right, here comes that Indianapolis Ferrari. Now here comes that one and a half liter V8 Ferrari. Best of class Ferrari race car. Best in class Ferrari race car 1964. And Mira is coming up here for an award. Deservedly so. The most technically advanced automobile. 12 cylinders right behind your head. I have a number of Ferrari awards now. It's a beautiful lose though. Amelia Award winner, Ferrari class, 1960. Here's a Vignali. 54 Ferrari 250 year old pop GT. Jamie and CC Muldoon. Hideaway headlights. And there they go. Super America. Coach work by Keenan Farina. Super Pass 2 prototype from the car. Lady. Elegant sports car. 250. Peter had to leave, but Cabriolet. We have the car and I've seen all those Ferraris. Now how about a Buick? Yeah, a Buick. 1939 Buick with a custom European body. 1932, Alfa Romeo. Style Special. Style Special. MG. You won't see many like this. This is actually a Sunbeam. Sunbeam. 1926 Sunbeam. Beautiful Porsche. Convertible top. Ferrero. Alpine White. Now here's Sterling Moss's car. I don't know, they're bringing it up again, but great to see it. Here is seven. The Maserati. Pegato. Grand Turismo convertible. Centennial edition from Maserati. Yeah, nice little cheesy tie. Yeah. Triumph. With the Vignale body. Michigan, Hagerty, the Gato F. Aston Martin. 
Now for a meal. And you know what I don't like about it? It's how the grills are different. Del Hay 135MS Torpedo Transport, owned by Jeffrey and Francis Fisher, owned by Robert Beth Alex and Charlie Burnett from Highland Park. The Miller race car. the back doors, fast back design. So our, our number 78, another hot rod, but this is a totally different. Miss John Surtees, the only man to win a world championship on a motorcycle and a <laughs> 56B Carrera Abar GTR from the Ingram Collection in Durham, North Carolina. This weekend, ladies and gentlemen, orphan concept cars. In other words, con concept cars from main plates that are Mercury all concept cars that are right. Orphan, they call them prototypes because Mercury no longer exists. You know, Pontiac doesn't exist anymore either. This was a X400, had a supercharged engine. And styling department kind of pushed to have this one. And Look at the now fins I on the side, air scoops. Lots of weather, <laughs> and uh, we're always thrilled to be here. It's, it's so wonderful. You guys do such a great job. All the bodies were coach built for Duesenberg, and that one by Graybird. All right, now we're going to get some maybe Sterling Moss's cars in the drove. Here's, Here's a car from the Sterling Moss. Four fifty. Nineteen fifty. Three hundred F Maserati. Great shape. Here's another car that Sterling Moss drove. 250 GTO. Very nice. 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. A Ferrari GTO. From the Sterling Moss. There's a whole crew bringing this car in. Yeah, Nissan. From Indian Hill, now here's another Sterling Moss car, but it's a 450. The last one was a 300. Uh, this is a 450 Moss car, V8. Best in class in the BMW. 328. Particular characteristic of the peak fenders. Great racing history. Best in class in the town and country. With all the options you could think of, and some that you couldn't think of, like a Mopar Shaver Award winning automobile, 1941 Chrysler Town and Country, owned by Peter Hayden from Ann Arbor, Michigan. The Town and Country. This award. This is a barrel back. You've got a winner in uh, Cliff, Michigan. 1941 Fluid These Rolls Royces, these Silver Ghosts are very dramatic. Miss Jean Jennings here, ladies and gentlemen, to present this trophy. This Cadillac. Incredible. Chrome Saber Spoke Wheels on that Fleetwood. Here it comes, Dimaxian. This well, is. You've heard of Buckminster Fuller. He created a car called the Dimaxon. And this is an exact record. I love it. If you want to see that car again, it's in the Lane Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. Low roof sedan. Oh, well, we saw this one earlier. Body. This is the Heacock Classic Insurance Most Elegant Stunts Award. And this is believed to be the oldest stunts in existence. Another one of those silver ghosts. No seat belts. Fantastic. Just go fast. Best in class, Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. 
from the World Tourist Class. Here's the Amelia Award winner. They put the body on the chassis last week. There's no need to rush this. No, there's lots of time. Fence Spirit recreation of the Corvette Corvair. Motorama car. Thomas Flyer. Back in 1912, it might be a Thomas Flyer. The Daimler. Here's a magnificent brass car from the Longfield family in 1908 Daimler. That, that car just left here it somewhere in a cloud of smoke. We could just see this one arriving. Class, oh, this is that BM, uh, oh, that Mercedes. Look at this. Are you out there? Yeah, that's really a great Mercedes. No smoke. Look at that exotic Mercedes. Join the company. 1904 Oldsmobile, we're going to downsize a little bit. Five, six, like shakes. 15. John Elizabeth Garnett. One cylinder. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. There you go. Oldsmobile. Yes, International Jake Harvester Jake car. Jake Not a tractor, but a car. International Harvester. Owned by Robert Ferris of Canton, Georgia. Ralph very Brown, unusual Packard. Himself, like yeah, very, very strange. Mm. That's one of those well, cars. You look at the rear. The front's rather boring. <laughs> I mean, is that a smoke screen they're leaving? What is happening here? This is a Minerva. Minerva smoke wagon. 1931 Minerva. It's huge. Big BMW, we saw the first day we were here. He really drives it well. Put this under the Room every now and then, but. An Amelia Award winner, 3.8, excuse me, 3.2 liter example, two door cabinet. 250 Maserati. Collection, a DB32, DB32. Well, the cowboy car is back. I don't know if this is Hank Williams or uh, 64 the other. Bonneville. Yeah, that's the Hank Williams. That's not the Roy uh, Rogers car. This is that Jaguar that um, was a sort of a prototype test vehicle. Also, uh, some record speed with Sterling Moss. Now here's purity in the Roadster world. 32. From Beverly Hills, California. And this is another TV cowboy car. It was Gene Autry that bought it this initially. I haven't seen many gold wings today. And now we do. First gold wing we sold in America. 300 SL gold wing. Now here comes the Oscar. Sterling Moss drove to an overwhelming victory. Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss was hired by St Briggs Cunningham to race this car. The first time he'd come to America. He says it's one of the most significant cars he remembers. Little Le Mans prototype. Sadly not running, but. Gearbox broke, so he gets the hard luck award. That's the hard luck award. Transmission broke when they brought it here. Otherwise, he would have driven it up here. Over in the corner, the first sign of the best to show award coming. Gentleman with the horns. Please, please. A gorgeous fur. Sorry. The one with the cut down door on the side. That's the. Uh, Ferrari that, well, Sterling Moss has driven, uh, Phil Hill drove at Sebring. Sterling Moss. Juan Pongio, Peter Collins, Oliver Glenn Hans Herman, Brian Portigo, Count Von Trips, Jacques Swatter, Phil Hill, and Sir Sterling Moss. Mercedes Benz. 
the Mercedes Benz Star of X rebound by Herbertson. Once a race car. The cord, front wheel drive. Speedster. Now this is really a magnificent car. Gorgeous. All right, the Phil Hill Restores Award. It's Aston Martin. Here's Derek Hill and Phil Hill's uh, wife. And Mike, congratulations, you're the first winner of the Phil Hill Award. Here they come. Oh, Cord, front wheel drive speedster, and Alfa Romeo HC. Concourse to Elegant. Concourse to Sport. Time for the Dan Gurney shower. They give the best to show the crowd is gone. These are cars we hardly saw today. These are the crowds. Modified hot rod. It's a sort of rat rod look thing too. Both contemporary. That's good. Not a V8. It's got a six cylinder engine in it. Yeah, that's 12 cylinders all right. Boy, tell you. Interesting car. Wow, you can really hear that throw to that car. What a car. Cars here, but here's a BMW. Millimillia. Seen that plenty of times in the Millimillia. Won the 1940s. Sterling Moss Birdcage. Bugatti, and this is that Sunbeam. Stangerlini. Porsche. Hey. And one last shot that really shows, uh, tells what this show is about. Variety and interest.